So many people, when I talk with people about bitcoins, they say that it consumes so much electricity. And what, what do you answer to this question? That is Bitcoin effective, and why it's consuming so much electricity? Yeah. So the Bitcoin network is maintained by these people who are called miners, and mm -hmm. miners are doing this proof of work. And this proof of work is like making the network secure. Mm -hmm. And the proof of work is basically just a lot of like like a lot of computers doing uh, calculations. Mm -hmm. And these computers are consuming the electricity. And this is where the electricity consumption comes from. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, if we have like high requirement for the proof of work, we will have like high high electricity consumption. Mm -hmm. However, if we would have like low requirement for the proof of work that that could like compromise the security of the network. Mm -hmm. So basically, we en we end up in this situation where we are spending a lot of electricity to yes like secure the network. Mm -hmm. mm. Regarding this, also like every four years, there's gonna be a hal halving for the. Uh, miners fee. Mm -hmm. So every four years the consumption of electricity will go down. Mm -hmm. And also like if the price of Bitcoin goes down that will also bring down the electricity consumption. Uh -huh, okay. On the other hand, like if the price goes up that will also increase the electricity consumption. Mm -hmm. Because the mm, miners are incentivized to do this. Mm -hmm. So, but what about this question when people say that Bitcoin consumes like 200 times more electricity than Visa transaction and and also that if, it, if the price goes up and up and up, at some point uh, there are, it consumes too much electricity. So what do you answer to this question? Uh, yeah, it definitely consumes a lot of electricity. Mm -hmm. The thing about like Visa and other banks and payment systems, like they are they need a lot of like bankers, lawyers, consultants and other expensive people to work for them. Mm. So like someone has to pay salaries for those people as well. Mm. So in Bitcoin, like we don't have these like expensive consultants and lawyers and so on. Instead, mm. we have just computers doing the proof of work. Mm. So if you are going to make this kind of comparison, you should com compare like the like salaries of the employees in the financial sector to the electricity cost of the Bitcoin sector. Yes. So I don't think like if you make this comparison, I don't think Bitcoin is that that expensive to maintain. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm. Whether or not like we are going to run out of electricity, like that, that's up to other people to decide. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's a good point. <laughs> um, I didn't think about it so much before, like when people made this comparison with and Bitcoin, but when you explain it to me that uh, there are also these bankers and big bank houses and all the electricity there and lawyers, consultants, all the all this big system that it consumes so much and people don't talk anything about it, they just yeah. say, oh, okay, that's how it goes. Yeah, I mean, the thing about the Bitcoin electricity consumption is that it's pretty easy to calculate, so it's pretty easy to talk about it, mm. but like all this personal cost in the financial sector like it's much more difficult to measure so mm, yeah don't talk about it that much yeah that's true but the money has to come from somewhere so it comes from the citizen <laughs> yeah that's true okay let's move to the next question